Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. It is time for another free app hidden gem. And if you're a middle-aged nerd like me, you were probably a fan of Star Trek The Next Generation. And if you have an iPad mini, it probably reminds you a lot of the data pads that they used to use on the show. But of course, the interface here is not quite Star Trek ready. It lacks the L cars design that was used in the show. But check this out. I found this app. It's been around forever, but it's new to me. It's called Star SS, S-T-A-R-S-S. -S. And when you load it up, your iPad transforms into an L cars interface here. But what's really cool about this is that it's functional because this is an RSS newsreader. And we're gonna dive into this a little bit and show you how it all works in just a second. Now, I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for the iPad here with my own funds and the app that we're gonna look at is free in the App Store. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one has reviewed or approved this before it got uploaded. So first things first here, let me go over to the App Store page and just give credit to its developer. Christopher Creans developed this app 17 plus years ago. It's apparently been on the App Store forever and I just discovered it today. And this is, I think, the only app that he's got uh, on the Apple platform. This will run on the iPhone and all flavors of the iPad. So whatever you got, it should work and fill the screen properly. I did test it on my iPhone a little bit earlier and it looks great on the phone too with some features for syncing things up too, which I'll get to in a little bit. So this is what it looks like on the phone. You can see now what it looks like on the iPad. I definitely like it in this form because this is so close to the Star Trek pad and now it actually looks like it. Now, if you are not familiar with RSS, it has been around for a very long time. In fact, I did a video a number of years ago about it because I use RSS extensively. What it is, is a standard format for presenting information on the World Wide Web. And if you think about it, every article you read on a website has a title, a link, and then some text that goes with it. And what RSS does is it standardizes how that stuff is presented. So you can use an app like this one or a more feature-rich RSS reader to go in and pull information from your favorite websites. And I've got a great RSS reader that you can check out in my video where every morning when I wake up, I've got everything that I want to see neatly organized by topic. I, I am monitoring several hundred websites at once, including many social media and YouTube profiles. I think RSS is amazing. It has kind of fallen out of popularity recently, but it's still very, very useful and something that if you are a power consumer of information, you should definitely know about and play with. And this is actually a great entry point uh, into the world of RSS. Now, the way this works is it will pull an RSS feed from multiple websites and then compile them into a list of articles here. And then you can scroll through the articles with the ascend and descend commands. They've got some on this side and on this side. And because this is Star Trek, you can't scroll with your fingers. You've got to hit the button uh, to have it do something. And then to read an article, what you do is select the article you want to read, and then you click on Access Article, and that will pull up the article and its summary. And then we can go over to the uh, Web Access button here, Access Web, and that will pull up a web browser so you can read the article in full. So it does take you out of the experience a little bit here. What's really cool is that when you hit the share button at the bottom here, check it out, it makes the sound of the communicator. Isn't that cool? So you've got kind of your basic features that you'd have with an RSS reader. It doesn't have all of the fancy stuff like folders and tags and organizations and whatnot, but it does, I think, have a function here beyond just looking like a pretty cool Star Trek prop. Now, if I click terminate here, that brings me back to my article list and I can scroll through everything here to go down further. I'm going to pop out of this for just a second and show you where to add feeds to the mix. So if we go to home and go to sources, I can get a list of all the RSS feeds that it currently has added to its library. And only two are active right now, Slashdot and Trek News. So what I could do is descend here to Daring Fireball and activate it. These are the ones that it came with. But I can add a new feed if I want. So if I go to new feed, it'll pull up a web browser. And what I'm going to do here is just search for my blog, which is at blog.lon.tv. And what I can do is go to that website. And when I'm in here, I can say engage. And what this will do is it will find the RSS feed on my site and then it will add it to the library here. And so now that is activated. And if I go back to home 
and go to Reader, my articles will be mixed in here with everything else. And I think I published one this morning, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. And here it is. So here's one I did on the 8-bit dough controller and access the article. So I've got my summary here. Now on my feed, I, put, I published the full text of everything that I put up. So if it was longer than the screen, you could descend down and keep scrolling. It doesn't do any formatting or anything. So if you do want to read the article in more detail, going to the access the web thing here is a good thing to do. So that's pretty cool. And it's got some other fun stuff on here, like a subspace scan. You have uh, weapon systems where you can fire your photon torpedoes and some other buttons that make noises and stuff. There's also a red alert option here. And if you uh, hit it once, it asks you to confirm. And then when you <laughs> put it into red alert mode, it does this. So it's pretty cool. I just think it's got a lot of neat little features. But there's more. So let me go back home for a second. And if you go down here to settings, you have some sound effects that you can put into the mix here as well. So for example, I can have an ambient bridge sound firing off anytime I turn this thing on. And if I click confirm here and go to my reader, maybe hard to hear, I'll put it up to my microphone. It's got the sound of the bridge that will run whenever this app is loaded up. So you've got that as an option. And it's got a couple other features here too that we can uh, change as well. So let's turn off that ambient bridge here. I can change the size of the text. I can have the red alert go off if I drop my iPad. <laughs> Uh, and then you can also sync up your RSS feeds over iCloud if you want as well. So this is pretty neat. I just think it's a cool little app that lets you uh, get that Star Trek experience and also get something functional with it too, where you can actually catch up on your news and do something with this Star Trek LCARS interface. So check it out, S-T-A-R-S-S -S, on the Apple App Store. 100% free of charge and has been so for 17 plus years. So I thought you all would get a kick out of this like I have. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.